Hello, hello. Let me clean up the mess behind me real quick. <clears throat> Don't look at my ass. So here's the deal. How many of you plan on watching every single match? I'm curious. Let's see. I have some shit to fall back on. So I have a rough idea of the schedule because, well, I know everything, right? So what I'm looking at here, the very first match, they include Pally and Keller, and uh, they have a substitute player. The second match is someone we don't really give a f about. Um, the third match is the other Liquid team. So I'm probably watching first and third and then just fucking playing Borderlands, dude. Also, as you can see, we have the Telestrator as well. So you can draw on the map in Apex? Wait, can you actually? No? Back with you alone. I, need you here, like I don't like that there's like no background noise whatsoever. Yeah. Dolo, Dolo. There's no music or anything. Makes me uncomfortable. Oh god, is this how the big YouTubers feel? Or sorry, Twitch streamers? They just sit like this? And then they go... <laughs> wow, they, did they just turn the light? Okay, hey, whoa, this is cool actually. No, this is a price pool of 500,000, but... 80 teams are there and not that many like people aren't getting travel and accommodation. I heard some players are even sleeping. Hey, I recognize those jerseys. Someone's wearing a Cali jersey despite not being Cali. Chances are RNG win the whole team. Oh, do you mean like NRG or do you mean like randomness wins the game? Because randomness is going to be the primary factor on who wins for sure. So the way it works, for instance, let's say my team drops Skulltown. And we practice dropping school town. Uh, you play against all these different teams, 80 teams. You will not be able to scout or figure out the other teams, what they're doing, or like actually prepare for a pro level play. They're literally having the tournament be a, a battle royale as well as the game being a battle royale. And they are reducing how much skill matters by having so many different like variables and who you're playing against and stuff. This guy brought his luggage, my dude. <laughs> Really excited to see when you get that people like Shy will never play in this tournament, sole reason being there's nothing to gain even monetarily. Well, I mean, it's barely even worth it for the people who have 250 subscribers to go to these tournaments because of the risk involved and the time investment. It's not really worth it, except for the people that end up placing high, but because of the state of the game, it's just RNG. If the qualifiers and stuff are online and the prize pool is controlled and guaranteed for the people that actually go to tournaments and it's hosted in a convenient location, I, I could see Shroud going. Yeah. A lot of people are going to lose a lot of money from going here there's not any big streamers here it's probably like a couple hundred viewer streamers here and they're losing a significant amount of subscribers and significant amount of growth and brand work during the time they're here for a very 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 risky tournament where they probably won't place higher maybe you just want to participate yeah no this is literally an invitational only offline qualifier tournament that's why a lot of pro teams didn't want to go because it's barely worth it but they probably want to participate or their org wants them to participate but there's a lot of teams here that aren't and sponsored that paid their own flights that paid their own hotels and stuff but i would like rather have regional qualifiers so that people don't have to fly across the world and like potentially sleep in tents because they can't afford it you know ah they have a okay cinematic play as much as you can and focus on improving my boy to be one of the best apex keep lounging you got to devote all your time to the game your social life will take a hit Put a lot of time into it. Put a lot of time into the game. My man! Um, Everyone seems yeah. so awkward in front of this camera. Become one of the best. You know. By watching Asu's stream. True! True! How do you practice before a tournament? Uh, booth camp on scrims. Practice just by uh, playing scrims with the other best teams in the world. Just. As much it's as funny because they all want to say, like, you know, research your opponents, figure out drop and loot patterns. But then they're also playing against 79 other teams, so they can't. <laughs> that chair is ugly as shit. It's a really ugly chair, isn't it? We just play, I just play Kovacs, and ah. that's all. I have a tournament coming up. Let me build up Kovacs. Loot up and play safe, then we rotate into zone. Just take it. Hey, playing safe. Somewhat aggressive but more Sa towards the passive end safe and passive play style would be playing to win we ah to playing safe and passive hey my man don't be keen determined don't be hey don't be keen hey i like that longbow rally oh wow who, who would have thought bigger brain than everyone longbow and passive aggressive 
that's not true. They're gonna play passive. Aggressive, but cautious. Cautious means passive. It means fifth partying. Aggressive and fast. Very aggressive. Smart and uh, aggressive. I would say half of those people said aggressive, right? Half of them said aggressive. Safe to say Do you think they're actually going to play aggressive? Any of these also, I don't think so. The knowledge of playing hey, the game's actually starting. Oh no, they're doing the fucking tilted monitor shit, man. God damn it. Where's the audio? Hello? Listen, there's the volume the over there across drops Jeez. across the board. Yeah, thank you so much, gentlemen. Now we're getting into it, and already Hello? teams yep. dropping all over the place. What am I listening to, dude? Why can't we see the game? Who are we listening to? Why is the game on here so loud? Uh, yes, the creams. The, the webcam's not in the border. Oh my god. Oh no. Hey, that one is. Wait, they have so good armor, and R9's a wingman. They're in a building, building fences, dude. Pog you. Pog, Pog is in the chat though. <laughs> so where's the aggressive gameplay? <laughs> it's calculated aggression, dude. Hold on. They're, they're so calculated. Team said they like the W key, man. Yeah, but they W key. They do a 360 and walk away. He's not in frame. Still. This guy's. This camera is bigger. He's bigger than the border. It's sticking down past the border. I can't see anything with the muzzle flash. Look, look. With them forcing 1080p, low bit, low, not a high enough bit rate. I can't see anything with muzzle flash, dude. Wyvern on the back end of oh, Sully is just how talented he is mechanically. They have the high ground, but they're not going to be able to hold this for too long. Okay. Open they are, but it's what the f is going on in this circle? Nine squads left. How are we supposed to watch this and have even a uh, remote fucking idea of what's going on? How can they force the meta into this position and think it's okay? What is going on, dude? Take a look now, JP2 and Crank, no shields for either of them. They oh. gotta fight in. Let's see if Crank can stay alive. It looks like he's trying to fight through. He will go so down where's the, the, the second Wyvern. team? Two squads remaining here in the game. Wyvern have the upper hand. They have the portal timer. You can see them taking it, not taking any of the damage. They have one person. How is this a fun to meta to watch? To Respawn! Oh my God. God. That... Good game! 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 Good or maybe maybe the winner's, maybe, maybe the winner's team name? Yeah. Hmm. Now let's put good game. good game. There's a lot to analyze. I want to talk about the last two minutes because that was the most unbelievable finish to a game I've seen so far in Apex. I mean, that was really that was an unbelievable finish. Teams camping. The team that didn't fight won. Yeah, that's really exciting. We didn't even know HSL was still alive. They, okay, this is a tournament, right? You are not supposed to say the word fuck in a tournament. You aren't. I don't think they meant to have their player comms on there because they just started screaming, let's fucking go. I haven't seen a single tournament that like allows, you know, cursing and shit. No, I don't like, I don't have any problems with saying swear words. I don't, I don't go. But... Damn, half the crowd's already gone. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, look at those chairs. Those look like the most uncomfortable things I've ever seen. <laughs> Which we talked about what the is going to be your ability to get to 50 <laughs> points and then win the game after. Well, Let's get some pog champs in here. Marathon. You can't lose these points. It's not like Whoa! Wait, what the? Hey, f dude, there's, there's a dick on, dick on my screen. <laughs> what the? <laughs> f it's, 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 they haven't stopped. Sitting They've been going the whole time. I think the observers don't know what they're doing. I feel like in a game as messy as this, it is way more important to have like a storyline of the team you're watching to understand how a fight started.
and sometimes it's actually worth sticking with a perspective that you think might run into each other or like and not just jumping everywhere this is good they swap the perspective never mind they landed over at the cage getting that big high round the northwest so looking to see the adjustments over there any surprise drops over here from you no surprise drops this is the normal play but it's again not an option here it goes they're gonna zip in you saw the play call coming and they're gonna fly in here to this rooftop and start to bust them don't swap perspective We'll go ahead and uh, check on that battle again if it does heat up. But now back over here, and they defend outward again. Very smart place from them. Coming in she does get knocked first. And that P2020, was the twenty twenty, dude. The BDS side, Cyclops, the to now it's just chaos. Now stick to one team, and this chaos. Don't swap perspectives well. ever, please. It's too much crazy shit going on. Just follow one team and actually have a storyline to follow. Don't peek. Just peel. No, not a. Like wait, 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 why would he click that button? It must have been a misclick, right? No, 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 I don't want to see this. I don't want to listen to this. I want swap your perspectives. Let me actually, holy f swap. Click the button, dude. Go swap your scene. Swap your scene. Click the next button. Thank you. This is a good perspective. Stick on these guys. You actually don't have to swap now for like two fights. These guys are going to start rotating and fighting people that rotate and they're in a position where they can't really peek. Are they gonna be able to do this? The one man ban versus what? What do we got on the other side? Off of Two? Syringe or something. Can Two? <laughs> Two? Shots here. Oh, slowly <laughs> healing up on the Watson ult. Peace once more. Nice oh. wind up there. Takes Can't see anything, dude. Break. He's gonna go ahead and look for the push here. He's gonna try and take this wingman. Or Armor me, swap. Armor oh. swap. Yes. Don't need. You don't need attachments, bro. Oh, dude, that's a pog ending. That's fucking cool. Are you kidding me? The okay, that was a good one. That was a pretty good game, yeah. Except so a lot of the teams lost only because of their armor, which always like sucks to watch. Not having skill matter. Good game. Good game. Good game. That was fucking pog. Those last few fights were actually really like exciting for what you could see.